And ladies and gentlemen, it's our great pleasure now to present the wonderful and charming Miss Catherine Grayson. This is, I call this my little concert, you see. You see, because I used to go and see all those films with you and all those marvelous films with Howard Keel and Mario and... Mario Lanza. Because <laughs> when I started out, I wanted to desperately be a, a musical comedy singer and all that sort of thing. So I used to go there and drool over you and Howard Keel. And if anyone had ever told me that I would one day stand here with you, I would have said, you're kidding, come on. <laughs> and I've got many questions to ask you. I don't know how much time we have to ask you. For instance, with all these wonderful men like Gene Kelly, Frank Sinatra, Mario Lanza, and uh, who, which was your favorite? All these well, I really like them all. The voice that went with mine best was Mario Lanza's. Howard has a beautiful, beautiful voice, but it's very deep. And Mario was just, just perfect because he was a tenor, and, um, and it was just a great challenge and a wonderful joy to sing with him. At the end, they said that his voice became thin. Is that true? When he Never. Was very fat? No? There, you know, of all the opera singers I've ever sung with, uh, the two biggest voices I've ever sung with Mario and Howard Keel. There are no voices to beat theirs. Listen, I'm a, you, you do karate. We were talking before and she tells me all of a sudden that I do karate and my daughter does karate. This is amazing. My daughter is 4'11". How did this happen? Well, I don't know. My brothers were in the Second World War and they came back and taught me a few things. And my daughter's cousins, my, my brother's children, um, have taught my daughter. And it's rather embarrassing uh, for big six foot four men to say, come on, Patty, show me, show me how to... Um, Show me what you learned today, and then all of a sudden they're, they're sitting on a floor looking at her. <laughs> Have you ever had to use this on a, a producer or anything like that? No. No, it's a pretty handy thing, girls, if you want to be in show business. <laughs> learn a bit of karate. Well, I, I learned foot karate, you know. They said always, if you're ever in a fight, take your shoes and socks off and you're ready, you see. Well, by the time I got my shoes and socks off, they used to knock heck out of me. You, know? <laughs> you don't do that. Listen, well, I, I'm so thrilled. You know, you, you have no idea how thrilled I am because I'm actually going to sing with Catherine Grayson a little something from a medley, and you told me to stand a special way. This is the professional way. This is the way because then you face the, the audience. The audience and everything. <laughs> so here we are with, our, with my little contribution with Catherine Grayson. <laughs>
peace of mind in pretending you couldn't Thank you. You're just as warm and wonderful as when I left you in 1964. I'm so very happy to be back. And now I'm going to sing one of, well, the world's most popular operatic composer, Giacomo Puccini. And I think his most popular opera, uh, Madame Butterfly, and his very lovely Un Bel <laughs>